what's going on guys it's your boy awesome 12 back with another video and today we're doing something a little different today we're doing a fast food tier list got this idea because my boy michael castillo who has a youtube channel who you should definitely consider checking out me and him got together and thought of this fun collaboration idea where we're going to be putting some fast food options into a tier list right here different setup than what you're normally used to for awesome 12 video but it's gonna be alright, it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. And with that out of the way, let's -a go! So, our first option is McDonald's right here. McDonald's, you probably had McDonald's before. Their fries are alright, their burgers, they're pretty good. Uh, their nuggets and hash browns, they're just perfect. With that, I'm gonna be putting them into. S tier. They're a staple, they're standard. Next we have Wendy's. My sister likes Wendy's. They have the the square patties. Their Frosties are alright. They have a chocolate frosty. I know they have a strawberry frosty. They went from a four for four deal to now a five dollar biggie bag. They're alright and I'm going to put them in A tier. Now our next option is Burger King. I like their commercials, they're pretty funny where they sing BK, have it your way, and then finish off with you rule. I don't think their burgers are as good as McDonald's or Wendy's, so with that, they're going in a solid B tier. Domino's, I actually have a pretty funny story with Domino's. It was some 4th of July, and the burger grill wasn't working, we couldn't make any burgers or hot dogs or hot links or anything. So someone ordered Domino's and it came in clutch. Their pizza's okay, I haven't really had it like on the daily, but I'm still gonna put them in a solid, respectable B tier. Little Caesars, now I've had pretty good experiences with Little Caesars. Friday night, don't know what to do for dinner, you just pop out Little Caesars. Their pizza is good, they have new like cheese filled crusts I'm pretty sure. They also have crazy bread, which I really love, especially with the marinara sauce, tomato sauce. They're good, so for me, let's go in an A tier. Next we have Pizza Hut. So, Pizza Hut, I remember I was really young, and there is a football game. So, we ordered Pizza Hut, and my dad tried to get me to say pizza hut but i'm a little i don't know how to speak properly so i accidentally say pizza hut hut which is really funny really common joke between me and my family because it's funny i was young football you know, the quarterback says hut hut hike right so it was, it was really funny in the moment the pizza's okay but because of the memories i have with it they're going in b tier kfc now i don't really like kfc you know their chicken is all right uh, their biscuits are okay. Maybe the cookie kind of props it up. My sister and the rest of my family likes KFC. For me personally, I don't. But because of the history, Colonel Sanders, it's, it's cool looking, I guess. So for me, they're going in C tier. Now Popeyes. I've had one notable experience with Popeyes. We were driving home after like a basketball tournament or something. And... No one really felt like anything. Nothing was really in the area except for a Popeyes. So, went to Popeyes. The chicken was really good. It's okay, but everything that's in B tier and above is just way better. So, for me, that's going in C tier as well. Next, we have Chick fil A. So, Chick fil A. It's okay. Like you can tell why I have KFC and Popeyes in C tier. I'm not a really big like fried chicken guy. I know it's weird. A bunch of people like fried chicken. I Me mean, personally, I don't. I can eat it, but I don't. It's not my number one choice for fast food. So for Chick Fil A, their sauces are okay. I really like the Chick Fil A sauce, but that goes on like burgers or something. That's what I put it on. So for the sauce, just like the other fried chicken places, 
to go in the C tier. Taco Bell. I know a lot of people really hate on Taco Bell and say, oh, it's not authentic Mexican food. It's like, like they, they cause them to have diarrhea or something. I, don't, I think that's a bunch of baloney. I don't think that's actually true. In my experience eating Taco Bell, then it doesn't really happen. Their bean burritos are okay. I like their sauces. They have a hot sauce, mild sauce, fire sauce. I don't really like the Diablo sauce. Um, they have a, like a Baja Blast, some sort of Mountain Dew drink me and my dad always get. But I, eh, it's tough. But I guess that's just, just uh, another C tier. Next we have Del Taco. It's by my mom's school. It's really where I've had it maybe a few times. It's just not the same. It doesn't compete with any other Mexican restaurant that I have ever had. It's really strange. It's like a weird taste. But I don't think it deserves F tier. So it's just going to D tier. Chipotle. Now, again, like with Taco Bell, they say, oh, Chipotle is not authentic Mexican food. It's not good it's not real they give you diarrhea they give you stomach issues i don't find that true me personally it's one of my favorites i always get a rice bowl with steak and black beans with lettuce on top and then cheese and red sauce it's it's perfect every time my family always takes me there it's really good i know a bunch of other people think so as well me personally that's going in s tier now Starbucks. I'm not a big coffee drinker. The rest of my family is like, I don't know, maybe I'm weird. Everything my family likes, I don't. I'm not a coffee drinker. They have cake pops. They have pastries there. But you want to know what my number one order at Starbucks is? It's a venti ice water. You know, it's free, right? I uh, hope now Starbucks still gives out free water. Um, but for me, it doesn't stack up with the rest. Me and not like coffee. Also, their food items are kind of iffy. Like, they, like they're mainly known for selling drinks, but it's fast food, not fast drinks. But I don't think it deserves F. So D tier it is. So next we have Subway. So funny story. I went with Subway one time with my mom and. The, the worker there, they didn't really like give me time to give an order, so it came out all wrong. They added a bunch of extra olives, even though I asked for no olives. They didn't give any lettuce, they didn't offer anything. My mom was like, oh, you should have stepped up, and I'm like, no, I tried, right? I attempted to, but it's alright. But that's just one bad story about it. Uh, every event I go to, typically have subways it's okay they have like a bunch of different customization options uh so i guess for me subway is a i'll put a b and finally we have arby's now a bunch of people are gonna say oh you should just put arby's in f tier and honestly i don't think it's that far-fetched they they have the meats, that's their uh that's their slogan, that's Arby's slogan. That's the really only thing they have going for them. They have like okay items. But I guess uh, for the popular consensus the lone F tier item is Arby's. So this is my official fast food tier list let me know if there are any changes you would like to make in the comments uh shout out to my boy mike this deal one more time that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching sure like share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video we'll catch you in the next one awesome 12 is out bye